I remember when I first lost it really quickly, I was on set f for a book in that at that time of, of my journey I was really excited about. And I mean, like, 10 minutes in and my voice was gone. Gone. But, like, the thing is that I don't think people realise is, especially when you're a newer vocalist and you're, you're, still, you're hyped about it all, it's all such an exciting process and it's not just the hour you perform or, or however long you're doing that you've got a usual mm -hmm. voice. It's mm -hmm. the car journey on the way out there mm -hmm. with music on and people in the mm -hmm. car. It's being in the ray shouting in people's ears over the music mm -hmm. it's then going home it's then chant it's like you, your Air voice is a muscle yeah. imagine you've spent your whole time doing biceps 24 mm. 7 everything mm. your arm like mm. it's exactly the same as your vocal cords man mm. and I, t I i actually had nodes in nodules vocal nodules back in the day when i used to sing in like competitions in school time mm. now, I had to go do if no one knows what nodules are it's basically scars that are formed on your over, on your vocal cords because they tap together when you talk and make sounds and they become little lumps and they, it dries them out basically and you lose your voice all the time and um that was probably a mix of shouting raving singing or everything at once mm. you know um but i had to go doctors at uh, they had to put a camera up my nose down my throat and they can really see what's going on there did you see it yeah 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 like when they it is like it's just like two little lines two yeah. little vocal cords yeah. and just inside touching each other they can be at different sizes at different places but they're just tiny tiny little scars that where and they rub together too yeah. much yeah, well, you just, just like yeah, that, yeah, because yeah. no, no warming up. It's like when you go gym and you do like if anyone gyms mm. squats and doesn't warm up and then go home and two days later their leg feels a bit pulled. Yeah. It's literally the exact same, and I'd really learn that you have to look after it. Just but how like did you they would. fix that? Killer Keller official dot com. You need the Kellervision app. Twenty four seven mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Beatbox created. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. And it, like just so naturally, like Ryan bars and we'll, we'll chat about it. On let's the just get, let's <laughs> get into this shit, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Killer Keller podcast, live and direct, central London or as central as you need to be, and all that business. Um, big shout out to our sponsors, the mighty Hodder Warriors crew over at the Crypto Moon Boys Hideout. That's some NFT business for you. Um, and yo, you know what time it is? Big shout out to all the regulars, the show and carers, keeping it moving out here on the street. It's proper. It's proper is how we do it. Keller Vision app available now. Free download for your street culture, sports and all that, whether it be the mini mixes, mini docs, big docs, and then the Tories podcast that we all love, you know what I'm saying? Inside the house today, uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. the new generation is in full effect. This isn't just awesome, this is no buts, this is only the real deal. If you've heard of her on the road, if you've heard of her in the clubs, you've definitely heard her on Pyro Radio and you're about to hear about it here. S-A-S-A-S-A-S and also, mm -mm -mm. hold tight. P Money, new collaboration inside oh, the place. Here's Wiser. Killer, 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 killer. <laughs> Good intro, man. Yeah. Loving it, loving it. It's nice to see, like, the artwork to the visual. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling it, man. Yeah, How you yeah. been? And the bikini part in the back, of course, don't forget. Oh, and all yeah, the big, mate. Yeah. going off over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all going down. Yeah, yeah. we'll be jumping <laughs> in later. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, enough people coming in. No, he's just taken it I by the it, wall. Old type uh, frost. Yeah. I always wonder what that one was. He's a, he's a bad man in the game. Yeah. yeah, it's got some cool stuff. And do you know what I love? Like your variety of music taste. Like, I always think it's well like um, people like to stereotype if you work on a genre of music, that's all you do and all you listen to. Mm. I've never got people that just listen to one genre of music. Yeah. I, I was listening. Like, I will admit, I was, I was banging Justin Bieber on the way up here, mate. Pick up the Bieber <laughs> crew. The Come on. <laughs> and I'll go home and probably bang System of a Down and then whack on some drum of it. It's, uh, it's broad, mate. Yo, Chop Suey, she's <laughs> coming in with the System of a Down. Dude, do you know what it is? I've just, I've always been obsessed with just good music. That music that I just listen to a song and at the end go, like, my brain can't really, like, explain what's gone on. Yeah. And it's just, like, thrived me to want to, like, get into learning. Yeah. Like, Old Tide System of a Down, probably one of the most greatest writers of all time. Big time. Their, their <sighs> rhythms are just, like, you just can't match it, but... Yeah. Yeah, and I think, do you know what? Some of the BPMs are a lot similar to drum and bass. Big time. Like, like the rock and the hip hop and it's all half time and then doubled and that, but it's all that kind of, and I think there must be someone in my brain that loves it because they're like my three, oh, dude, like most pinnacle ones. You know what? I recently, <laughs> and it's not because I'm late to the party, it's because I never actually heard it in, in, in its entirety. The start of Kendrick Lamar's Swimming Pools. Oh, right. Where it's just got that note. There's a dissonant chord in it. 
I, it just captivates me. Nice. And I don't even need to listen to the rest of the tune. Yeah, I'm just yeah, you're that. that you're like, there for it. It's just that shit. Yeah, it? yeah. Why I love does that. it grab us like that? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know at all. It's, uh, there must be a sense of it doing something that makes us forget about everything that goes on and gets in tune to that one thing. Mm. And I don't know, maybe music lovers, it, mm. it enhances it, you know. Mm -hmm. Just the obsession. It's mad. It's mad, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's something that you can't really put your finger on. Mm. Um, mm. But uh, when you collaborate with so many different people over a period of time, you realise that there is a, uh, uh, a, 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 I guess, a common thread that mm. all of us as creatives... There's pigeonholes that we get put in, but that doesn't always reflect on our influences and musical tastes. Mm, yeah, no, 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 we definitely. We take elements from yeah, it, don't we? Definitely, definitely. And I've got that all, all to come, all the collabs. Like I've been lucky enough to do some sick collabs in the past few years, especially with people I look up to mm -hmm. and I've looked up to for, for yonks. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I've, I've still got a lot of that to come. Well, you know, we're going to get gonna... into this, band yeah, because man. I'll tell you. For those that don't know about the wiser, I mean, S A S A S A S, um, incoming. She's she, the caliber in which you drop lyrics is undeniably f future forward. Your core principles, to me, just seem very much about the lyrics, and and that comes yeah. from an S A S place. I, that, mm. They definitely no, 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 fuck for with sure. that. Oh, for sure. I think it's really hard. It's like I've definitely been in a position where. You're aspiring, you're trying to do you and you see people suddenly break through that are kind of the level above you mm. and you think, oh, that shit works, like, should I fuck with that? Mm. And then you just see a lot of talented, like, rawly talented people mm. mould to want to be what's working mm. and I think that sometimes gets lost. They never really end up doing as good as they could have done mm. and I have think think like I've, I've watched very carefully in this scene. Like, you kind of... The industry is cutthroat, like, mm. to say the least. So I've tried to make my talent thrive as good as it can do. And I've watched a lot of people do that and thought, I can't do that, you know? Mm. So yeah, like these people doing well, they're sick and I will take inspiration from it, but not going to start being like the, mm. the lamb to the shepherd, you mm. know what I mean? Yeah. And I've just tried to do me, man. Yeah. And I just think it take a few years for me to do me, for people to be like, oh, that's cool, that's wiser, it's doing, she's, she's doing her, that's cool. But for it to be like, oh, like, no, mate, like this is moulded to something now. You've got, you've got such a presence and a confidence and um, you're a study you know that's uh, part of the kind of and for a uh, big up harry big up dave uh, you, you know up. you know you know we know you're there yeah. uh, and <laughs> you know they one of the first things they said to me was like and this was early doors reasonably early doors they were like yeah have you checked out wiser you <laughs> really out wiser? Yeah, 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 yeah 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 and then, and love, then, and then love that, to hear it man it honestly perpetuated. other people started it saying it as well hard work mm. and, like, into a good place you know you need to hear it sometimes like it's very hard when you're on in a certain mindset to want to do good and you're thriving like kind of tunnel vision in a way mm. to actually sit back and look at like what is going on or what you have managed to do and that your younger self would have been like really proud that you've even got oh. to that Yo, got to that talking place. that shit on the <laughs> podcast today i told you <laughs> legit legit where did it all begin where did it all but i want to know everything you know, I, all right everything love performing forever i loved the like center stage stuff like i would be in school in assembly yeah singing and like the teachers would be like this primary school shit and the teacher the teachers would be like um really good class but like that like, like government name do you think like you could quieten down a bit <laughs> and i'd be like sing a little, heart, <laughs> sing a little heart out see i started with singing um, I'm definitely very influenced with like my older sister. I've got three older sisters, old type of family. Yeah, old type but um, family. My, my oldest one's 10 years older than me. Mm. And she's like, she was a big raver. Yo, 10 years older, that's mm. one hell of a timeline yeah, of influence is, coming in. Yeah, like, it is. It's like a different generation. But but you get the the, the jet stream of all the things yeah. that she's listened to. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Mm. And I, I'd be in the car and like, you know, classic, like she'd be listening to her mixtapes, drum and bass. And then it'd be like, I say DJ, you say, and the swear words. And she'd be turning it down on the swear words, you know, keep it PG mm -hmm. for the five year old <laughs> and um yeah just those those little moments man i thought this is cool and like, it's just something about this which is like cool mm. but i definitely steered off I, f I think i've dabbled in every genre of music possible and i think as a music lover you kind of do and i still love those music but i don't like really write those music i wouldn't say never mm. you know if the right project come about mm. But yeah, man, I just think I just uh, I performed a lot and I tried to stay in stuff where I could compete in singing because the rapping didn't come till like 16. 16? Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd like like rapping, like copying other people's tunes and albums. That that come quite 
quite early. I was doing that from day. If I had a rapper, like, I, I best know I'd know his tunes back to back. And my pals would be like, please, please rap that song again. Please rap that song. We'll be chilling in the park and that. And they'd be like, oh, you can actually do that. And then I think it was it was just so natural, man. Like just like I said to you earlier, it's just it was just so natural that we'd then start writing stuff and you'd yeah. like gravitate towards people that also liked rapping and mm. might write some hooks and then beatboxers. Mm. I had a few pal beatboxers. And yeah, we got the beatbox screen now. I've got a good beatbox story I'll tell you about it. Hey, you know, Kel's love the beatbox story. Hold on. Say it, do what happened there. One of them ones, man. Come on, the little tempo. We can do it, but look, it, and it just happened naturally. And I just did a, I loved raving. I was too young to go raving, did a lot of underground raves mm. and just become friendly with the people on the mic and just had enough bars at one point where I could probably hold down 15 minutes and just did a set that they offered me and spat the same bar about 40 times and they loved it. And it works. <laughs> <laughs> and they got me back since, man. <laughs> Um, and it was sick. And I, I wrote some liquid tunes, singing. Uh, so I've, I've been writing for a while, but it, it was the rapping which come later. <laughs> and I just was really shit at the beginning. But there was always that love of it. And do you know what? I say? My partner says it to me all the time. She was like, you told me when we met five years ago. She was like, you told me, like, don't worry, like, mm. you'll get there. Mm. And I did. I used to say to her, don't worry. Like, I'll get there. I just, I just knew it. You know, I just knew, you know, you know when it feels know. right? I, I, just knew, I knew I'd always do music, but I, can, I never really fit in like into a certain genre I'd like the music I never really felt it was me and I was just floating about man I just, and just, just it just fell on my lap and it, and it worked and I think sometimes that's the best way to be it wasn't forced mm. at all mm. and it's yeah, it's yeah it's a lot of graft and here we are Tunbridge 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 ways yeah what was the scene like down there for his time then Rubbish. Rubbish. It used to be. Big up Tunbridge Crew. Yeah, no offense. Just wasn't all that back then. It wasn't. There was there's one club in Tunbridge, one. And that got shut down. That was SOS. They did a lot of pure nights in there. They did a lot of... Um, it's a very fitting name. SOS, yeah, yeah, pure science. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, tough, yeah. Tough crowd, tough Yeah, name. yeah, you know, no, honestly. Yeah. They all have a nice today. I can't remember. That was more my, like my older generation here and my sister's um, pals and all that. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and then if you go down a bit, you've got Tunbridge Wells and they've got two clubs. They just mm. did a garage nation there, actually, mm. in one Whoa, of them. Right. Yeah, but that, I mean, that's new. Like, I mean, I think that, that's, a, that's a big club and they do club nights every weekend. But I think they're just starting to realise, like, we can also do events like, mm. as well as just doing club nights. Because you, you can only get so far. You can only charge yeah. so much on drinks and so much on entry, free pound, like, whatever you're doing. Like, if you do an event, you can you can be charging, like, more. And you, your brand's growing. People are going to come from far and wide. Mm. Whereas if you're a club, People ain't coming from far and wide. They're just coming from down the road <laughs> and stumbling in there. You know what's interesting about you, Wiser, is, is you, you've, 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 I said that the start a study, but you've, you, you've developed a keen interest for things that are very um, considered as obstacles. It's, to me, it seems like you've got your game of chess already mapped out. You kind <laughs> of, you kind of understand the positions. You know yeah. what you've got to do. It's yeah. kind of war game. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, because it is a game. Mm. It's, the whole scene's a game, you know. It's funny you say that because I've never really thought of it like that, but I definitely feel like I've been a bit wised up, get get the pun, <laughs> um, since, since young. I've always, like, hung around with the older generation. I've always kind of clicked that way. And, yeah, yeah, it's prob probably a part to play in it. I just... Yeah, I definitely think like I'm I'm a big observer, that's for sure. Mm. And I don't like to see something in like if I don't think that's the right thing, the right way that I could be doing it, mm. then follow that path. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But you study and you you listen carefully. Yeah, for sure, and man. Stuff for like sure. That, and I'm yeah. lucky enough to be doing stuff now with people that I generally respect their knowledge that I'm like, whoa, I'm 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 in like I'm in that like school again. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm learning again. Yo, I love that. Trust That's me. so true. It's, a bit, it's the school I want to be in. Yeah. Like, I, didn't, like, I didn't do school like school. No. What? Like being that whole hierarchy and authority and people telling you what to do and having to sit still for ages and all that didn't work with me. Um, lucky enough to scrape through in my own ways. But yeah, that's a whole different story. But now I'm in like a learning like position that I've wanted to be in for ages, mm. man. With, um, with creativity and, the, you know, especially the levels of language which you're, you know, uh, hurling vernacular at, like, do you ever <laughs> think... Do you ever think that right place, right time, of course there is something that sends down these creative ideas, mm. but do you believe in synergy and right place, right time? Do you think there's a, a, a spiritual yeah, I, I guidance? Yeah, I do believe in fate, 
for sure. I actually went to see a medium the other week. Did you? Yeah. Well, tell us about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you um, went to see a medium. So what happened? What well, happened my friend there? recommended me uh, to her. She was quite local to me. You know, you just feel... Like, I've wanted to do it for ages. Like, I'm talking years. And mm. I actually had once one booked once. And a uh, cancellation happened on the day. I can't actually remember for what reason, but it didn't end up happening. I just mm. never booked since. I've always wanted to do one. Wasn't 100% sold in everything. But then there was a handful of things where I thought, like... How mm. how do you know that? Mm. How, how I feel like when stuff happens in life, which everyone has their own stories and stuff, I think you do need to find some kind of closure with stuff. Was there any kind of because right, sometimes there's a resistance to want to even say anything before you meet them, just in case. You yeah, I didn't say anything. Didn't say anything. I didn't say nothing. I feel you can tell a lot about someone's mannerisms, age, mm. what they're wearing. Mm to what they do and what they like. Like, mm. you can, like, just guess stuff like that. Yeah. And that, so some stuff might be, like, oh, trickled through, but a lot of stuff, like, how can I say this story? My um, my nephew's nan on my brother-in-law's side had just passed away okay. a week before I went. Okay. And she said there's someone in the room with her name. And that, <sighs> there's nothing on media. She didn't know my name before the the thing. She only has your number because you, you get a card from wow. from elsewhere. I just think, how do you know that? That wow. one thing. Uh, I rest was in like, peace, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I never really knew her, but that's yeah. that's from the other side of the family. But mm. I I called up my sister straight away, and I was like, "You'll never ever guess what." Yeah, yeah. that was mad. That was, that that for me was crazy. Um, she mentioned ADHD, which is something that I'm trying to, which is a route I'm currently in to try and get sorted out that I just think how would you know that I mean that may be my leg tapping the whole time didn't help but, <laughs> but yeah just a few little things man um, knew my partner was a hairdresser um, mad yeah mad mad <laughs> Why really did you get mad. recommended, by the way, to your friend? Well, how got, um, well my friend, old tat Erin, does a lot of my tattoos. She opened a new shop in Ken. Um, uh, yeah, so she, I went to get a tattoo a few weeks ago. She just mentioned, said she went. And, and did it change your life? Does it change your life when you go to I don't think it changes your life. I think it makes you wonder a lot of stuff. And I think you want to then, I don't know, you definitely want to go again. But what I wanted to do was go elsewhere. Because mm. I really want to like go to different people. I don't mm. want to go to the same person they know about you. Blah blah blah. Um, but yeah, it, I don't think it changes your life. I think it, it, it. I definitely left feeling good. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I would recommend it. Um, I was like, it was forty quid an hour, and I think I just spent hundred quid on a night out. Really? <laughs> you know, <laughs> easy like mm. train, hotel, whatever yeah, you're doing. Like, done, yeah. just 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 do the math. You know. Mm. Mm. People so, run away from the math as well. Yeah, they? yeah, for sure. In denial. In denial, like mm. the river. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well played. <laughs> um, ADHD. So, how's that? Uh, how does that connect with? your day to day and and so this is a tough one man this is like it's um in school like in like it just all makes sense now and i'm talking the past like four months i've had a chance okay. with my mum i've always known do you know um but i'm in current like talks with doctors to try and get on it's, like, it's a long process unless you're going to be paying for stuff like that mm. and it's just i just don't know man over like the past few months everything's just made sense it's clicked again another like natural thing that's fallen into place and it just it just it just clicked. So I was like, that this this needs to be sorted. Not mm. not sorted. I don't even ever think you need to change. Like uh, if I if my life didn't happen how it happened, I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't be mm. doing what I am now. Mm. It just I think sometimes just knowing is mm. is enough in itself. It's, mm. It hit me when I moved out, and your life is your sole responsibility, and your timing is all on you, mm. and your structure is all on you, mm. and the dishes, and washing up, and folding clothes, and mm. getting to work, and it's all on you. Yeah. It hit me, really? like trying to like, how do I put it? Trying to like handle that structure whilst juggling all this stuff, and it just, it just like something's like not mm. right here. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Not, it's not wrong. Do you know what I mean? Well, was it like a pressure, like in your head of? Yeah, yeah, definitely, like massively in your head, like full mental health, like not in a negative way, no, just no, like no. to realize, like, oh, this is mad. Having chats with my mum and like old time mum, and she no, um. Auntie. She's got a lot of knowledge in, like, she was a teacher, you know, so she's got a lot of knowledge working with kids and, and actually kids with, like, learning difficulties and, mm. and challenging behaviours and all that stuff. So if anyone's knowledge enough to say stuff, it's her. And she, mm. she kind of just said the same, like, always, always knew. Wish really? I got you tested kind of thing. Yeah, man. So it's, it's, all, it's all coming about. Um, and I don't think I'd want to change anything about it. I just think knowing's a, a thing in itself. Mm. And it was it's even stuff like um, doing projects with 
bigger artists, doing doing more projects with more pressure, and realizing I work in a much different way to your average songwriter, or even down to like kind of just a bit backwards with the way I do projects mm. and the way my like I, I say I've got one big project to do, and I'm like chill, like that people mm. are like chill, just mm. focus on this one project you got a month. I can't. Like, I will do six things at once. And that big project with all the pressure is probably the one I do last. Like, you is know. Is that a human trait, though? Yeah, it, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, you do know. You know what I mean? Like, there's mm, some things for sure. that are definitely I've been putting off for the last three weeks <laughs> easily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, Shouldn't man. I, I think it's, it's that whole pressure in itself. Um, but I don't think too deep into it. And it's it's like, it's, it's not a. It's not a a uh, thing that's getting me down at all. But talk to me about the way you work then, because you mentioned that, you know, working with bigger artists obviously there's pressure. There's a lot, said, there's a lot more pressure, yeah. but I've, I, I thrive off pressure. I think without pressure, I slack. Mm. And yeah, it's definitely a good thing. How do you work differently um, though? What do you mean? In a you, sense, you said you work differently to um, some of the I just think in, like, down to little things like structure, like down to the smallest things like you opening your laptop and downloading a file and dropping it onto logic and all that stuff. I just feel like it's just a bit like like gobble mate. <laughs> you know, I'm watching people do it in the studio, like professionals, and I'm like, yeah, I should really do it like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Save a lot of time. That's right, that's right. I said it before on podcast, I'll say it again. I, yeah, I've got the Bill Gates philosophy of give give a lazy person a hard job and they find the easiest way to do it quickly. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of a deal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But th- but there's things that you are a study of. There's a things that there's things that you take an active interest in. And sometimes you can't be this also goes back to the leaving the most important thing to do last. Mm. It's like you can't be all these things at once. Mm, yeah, for sure. It? You know? mm. e- even though you want to be. Yeah. And if you give yourself enough time and structure it right, then maybe. But all at once, no, it just don't work. No, no, no. No, no. You said before um jumping on, because of course we had a little chat before we jumped yeah, on. Yeah, no, little Um we were just bigging up Vocal Zones, mm. uh, which is uh, the product you can get for vocalists that is available at Boots and most good pharmacies. Mm. On Online Canada. as well, Amazon. Um, big up all that. Get, get them in bulk. Uh, that's a, it's a little alley-oop for you uh, MCs and singers yeah. out there that don't know the deal with, right? Uh, vocal Zones are used after tremendous battering of the voice. And you mentioned that you had, you, you had on early entry of clubs, were fighting for your voice through the mm. mic at, for the age you were. Oh, God, yeah. And that had to, you had yeah. to break through that, right? Yeah, for sure, man. Like, like countless, countless bookings with no monitors, um, no sound engineer, um, coming on after men and then before men. So the levels are just done differently. Mm. And, like, I feel like I don't really struggle as much now. Like, I sometimes lose it in places. You have those heavy weekends, a few bookings, and, yeah, it does just naturally go. That's just the voice. But I definitely am not struggling like I used to, like... I remember when I first lost it really quickly, I was on set f- for a booking that at that time of, of my journey I was really excited about. And I mean, like 10 minutes in and my voice was gone, gone. But like, the thing is that I don't think people realise is, especially when you're a newer vocalist and you're, you're, still, you're hyped about it all, it's all such an exciting process. And it's not just the hour you perform or, or however long you're doing that you've got a usual mm-hmm. voice. It's mm-hmm. the car journey on the way out there mm-hmm. with music on and people in the mm-hmm. car. It's being in the rave shouting in people's ears over the music mm-hmm. it's then going home it's then chant it's like you, your Air voice is a muscle yeah. imagine you've spent your whole time doing biceps 24 mm. 7 everything mm. your arm like mm. it's exactly the same as your vocal cords man mm. and I, t- I i actually had nodes in nodules vocal nodules back in the day when i used to sing in like competitions in school time mm. now, i had to go if no one knows what nodules are it's basically scars that are formed on your on your vocal cords because they tap together when you talk and make sounds and they become little lumps and they, it dries them out basically and you lose your voice all the time and um that was probably a mix of shouting raving singing or everything at once mm. you know um but i had to go doctors at uh, they had to put a camera up my nose down my throat and they can really see what's going on there did you see it yeah yeah what was it like when they it is like it's just like two little lines two yeah. little vocal cords and yeah. just inside touching each other they can be at different sizes different places but they're just tiny tiny little scars that where and they've rubbed together too yeah. much yeah, well you, just like yeah, that, yeah, because yeah. no, no warming up. It's like when you go gym and you do like if anyone gyms mm. squats and doesn't warm up and then go home two days later, their leg feels a bit pulled. Yeah. It's literally the exact same, and I really learned that you have to look after it. Just but how like do you, you would. fix that? How do you fix it? You basically just don't do anything. 
and that was tough, man. Like for six months, for six months I six months couldn't no talking. sing. Well, like you could talk and that, but you didn't sing, couldn't compete, couldn't shout. Um, boiled sweets, mm. keeping it liquidized the whole time. Yummy. Yeah, yeah. Put on a few. I bet, pounds, there's, enough, I bet there's enough boiled sweets you don't like anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Foxes, mate. <laughs> Bro, my my mum was coming in with the foxes, man. <laughs> Bags on them a day. No, no. It was it was it was all right, you know. It was it was a slow process, but it, it happened and it worked. And it's definitely better to like. To, I think a lot of people have it and they don't even know. Um, to think, that, to think I if mean. I got it that easy, that's why you got all these vocalists now with such raspy voices. And if yeah. you listen to a mixtape from them 10 years ago, they would yeah. not like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. just molded to like deal with it. But it molded to deal with it, but in, it, it, it actually gives them a, a, a more regal. Yeah, it's kind of style. like charismatic. It's their own style. It's, it's their voice that's molded and they've like, you can really. S- like even someone like Eminem, man, mm. listen to his first EP, mm. like and listen to him now, yeah. like worlds yeah, yeah, yeah. apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his voice is mold anyway. Like no one's mm. voice is going to be the same. But yeah, I reckon a lot of people have have vocal issues about even knowing. Yeah, it. for sure. Yeah. I, I speak to people when I was really coming into the game, and uh, you know, I'd be, I would, I think the pressure was on for me at the time because I, I was one of like a handful of beatboxers yeah. doing around the world. Yeah. They were actively touring and mm. doing stuff, and you know, for the age I was, I must have been about twenty. 21 it was a lot and I, I would constantly be asking my peers you know, like like when i get older will my voice still be able to do this well it's because because as you progress as yeah, your yeah, voice, yeah 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 things older, change tones yeah. and yeah i suppose yeah. you use a lot of tone yeah yeah in your sounds yeah mad but 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 actually our voices sound better as we get older. yeah for sure i used to have that worry i used to worry am i ever going to get better mm. i was like, i'm doing all right now yeah it's been a few years and i've found my flow and some people know me and mm. oh my god what if i never get better I think everyone yeah, has yeah, those yeah, worries yeah, yeah, when they find something like that they really love and they thrive doing and they're good at. Mm. Like, yeah, you, yeah, everyone has that overthinking. They do, don't they? Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a rhythm and you, you don't want to break that rhythm. You don't yeah. want the thing that you just... The hours become longer because of this thing you love. Yeah, yeah. You don't want it to stop. You don't want, to be, yeah. you don't want any idle time. You love doing this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's a mark of a of a true artist, I believe? Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. What what the overthinking? Com- yes, like yeah. I would say I, so. I, I I I was even thinking about this on the way up here. I think like if you've got I don't think you really love doing something unless you worry about it not being there one day. Mm. Or have ever worried about it not being there one day. You know? Yeah, I do know. I do know. It, it does it get easier as you get older? Uh probably. If if you're progressing yeah. and you're, I think seeing it for yourself is like pinnacle, like like when like this tunnel vision thing is again, like it's very hard to like know where you're going or like what you're doing when you're so focused on just getting there and yeah. or how you're doing, should I say? Well, that you lose, you miss the ride. You mean you, you're not yeah, enjoying kind it? Kind of in a way, and it, but like it, it, like for me, it's been really helpful to have people that I look up to, kind of be like, cool, like chill now. Like you can write stuff, like you can spend time, you can write stuff. You're doing good. I think yeah. like. Like you, like you live for that shit, and it just helps. Like, cause for me, like I'm always trying to do a million things at once and go full speed. And I think when you're trying to do too much, your quality might not be as good. And it's just it's priceless for someone to say yeah. you're doing cool. Like, well, it is especially when it's your peer peer group and they're uh, people with you know good head on their shoulders and a backbone of history. Yeah, for sure. And you respect their opinions. Like, that's different. It's very, like, it's cool to make a cool tune and your friends be like, this is so cool. And it's like, oh, thank you. But, like, their opinion doesn't really matter. Mm. Not in a, not in a, like, a rude way, no, but no, it's, it's it. not like um, when someone who's actually experienced is telling you, like, what you've done with this yeah. verse or what yeah. you've done with that like wordplay is cool like it's that's assurance it's like, whoa, 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 a level yeah. of assurance yeah. yeah and then like when you get those little chats and, and those experiences I think you become more inspired from that and you just learn you just learn in the process well a trick question actually a bit of a complicated this could take a minute for the process <laughs> um, what's the biggest piece of valued information that you've got from anyone up to this point because mm. mm. I'm pretty sure there'll be some uh, super fans of yours out there that are probably aspiring as well know. I've had a lot of I've had a lot of um kind of chats about being female in the scene and that 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 was that that worked for me like someone told me once it's actually fantasy and he said women have to work 10 times as hard like and I was like that's so mad because I've known that but like to have someone who's in the scene and like watching it happen like cuz I feel like like sometimes men like to like 
pretend we're not here. Not in a rude way, mm-hmm. but I feel like a lot, a lot of people uh, were very intimidated to ever give me love in a rave. That's for sure. Even mm-hmm. if I was on the lineup, on their lineup, on set with them, it was like, cool, that was good, right, bye. Whereas I always feel like you, you do get a certain amount of like people that do want to show love. But yeah, mm-hmm. that, that comment just sat with me because it was nice to know that people that have been in the scene recognise it too. But yeah, as as for advice, I feel like everything's good advice, man. Just going back to the fantasy, uh, the fantasy comment there. Big up fantasy. Mm. Um, I definitely feel that he he. I think he's right. He's right. He's right. But it's definitely changing. One hundred percent. Massive. One hundred percent. And in a very and, and and in a very good way. Like the ratio of women to men is. Oh, it's incredible. Like, yeah. And I've got to big up the DJs as well. Yeah, man. My girl Mills. Yeah, oh, I love Mills, man. What yeah, you Devaney, hold tight. Yeah, you know the deal. <laughs> um, you know, and, and everybody else. Uh, yeah. But, but um, the advice that, that Fantasy gave you, actually, it, it goes a lot deeper. That I'd, I'd, I'd transcend that even to, to mm, for males. Perfect. When anybody turns around to you and says, you've got to do more work, full stop, that can only be a fucking good thing. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah I get what you mean. Like fret, fret. Yeah. It's like it's like yeah, you want to outrun the competition. Yeah. And 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 sure, I remember when I first started beatboxing, man. And I, I was just the beatbox guy. Yeah. They would people would never remember the yeah, brand no, name. Yeah, I totally. So, yeah. Oh, and him beatboxing. Yeah. Did you watch that last night? Yeah. He's like, no, no, no. Yeah, I, man. You just got to go ten thousand hours yeah. more. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But if it's worth doing. Yeah, hundred percent. Worth it. It's, it's never a boring hour, is there? No, there isn't. Sometimes a, a frustrating one, maybe. But when you get to the end of a project, it's, it's you don't really look back at it and go, "Oh, fucking hell." No. Like, so, like for instance, that done a new release on Hospital with P Money. We had a long video shoot day, and I've never had a shoot that long. Like I'm used to the quick three hour ones, know the concept, one camera guy. Bosh, like mm. out in a few weeks kind of thing and this was like a 10 hour one and I remember being like whoa like 10 hours I was like, oh my god that's that's a long time to be on point mm. uh, to be creative mm. like it is mm. you know and I look back at it and it was it was wicked really? I think I think you just overthink all those things okay. yeah yeah for sure but that no, was sick it was so good man and if you haven't checked it already hospital records mm-hmm. um P Money, a feature on his and Winey's new tune, coming out on their new album. Um, so yes, yeah, the first single actually, the first yeah. single, first music video. Yeah, it's done good. How'd it feel? How'd it feel? How'd yeah, it it's feel? so sick, man. Like we we chatted a while back. He hit me up on Insta through Pyro actually. Pyro's done really good for me, man. It's mm. it's been really good to have a platform that. I've been able to, but people have been able to put a face to a sound. Like, I don't feel we've really had that before in the drum and bass scene anyway. We had mm. JDZ Media, SBTV, all those visuals, you can do three minute clips and that, but there was there is no platform where us as ravers can go and look at their favorite artists for an hour on a screen mm. and really like learn mm. them like through, through that. Pyro has been there for a while, but yeah. that for me was the first thing that I could see. Um, the first platform that I could see that I was, engaged in looking at anyway mm. um but yeah that's done a lot for me through that a lot of people have recognized my face um again like you, you were the beatbox guy for a while i was the pyro girl <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. which isn't a bad stepping stone yeah. like, for, for you to then grow in people's like, minds but, but um, they also killed it with the tiktok that kind of gave it a new <sighs> energy you know what i mean pyro's sure. been going for a bit but when that happened yeah and i remember seeing the ragged twins videos like yeah. really tore it down yeah man yeah it's a vibe it's such an energy like yeah it's just this is uh, i love pyro like i'll type pyro man mm. like i really like i don't even think i spray out live like i spray out pyro because it's like you can go live you can do your energy you can do have your persona your your act in a way but you can't always hear every single word that everyone on set is saying like mm. it's hard like, especially us in double time and Unless you know the material, but Pyro, you're those in it, like those headphones, man, and that mic is just it's so crisp. Like I've done Radio One Extra, I've done Rinse, and it doesn't match Pyro. Really? No. Shut, 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 shut. Trust me, man, it's so clear. Um, I just remember being there the first time. I wanted to do it for ages, but mm. Stars and Deezer pulled me down in their show. Big up Stars and Deezer. Yes, man. Yeah, Kent, man. Kent as well. Yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. Kent me. Crew, come on, yeah. Mm. Mm. See, breeding out there, Gee. pedigree. Yeah, man, we're growing. 
Um, but yeah, yeah. And then from the first one, I just knew I wanted to go back and they hit me up straight away after, man. So, and there's not, there's no pressure on that show. It's not a, you are every Friday for an hour. It's not like that. It's like a, as and when, and who you mm. want to bring. It's so free. Mm. And I think that takes a lot of like, like it's, it's very easy for your, something you love to turn into a chore or a job. And that's what I didn't really like, like feeling like, well, like I want it to be my job. Don't get me wrong. Mm. I want to like this. No, like, but a chores are different things. Yeah, so. for sure. For sure. And it's never felt like that. So, yeah. I think we've lost track on what, on what we were sure. saying. So, Where was we going with podcast, a pyro thing, man? That's what the Killer Killer podcast <laughs> does for you, babe. We've got this here. We, listen, we, we have the greatest conversations with yeah. that very much in mind. Um, you're very hard, hard lady to get hold of. You are everywhere at all times. I genuinely feel like your diary is constantly flooded. Just going back to the fantasy 10,000 hours thing, it just feels like, you know, go 10 times harder. And you yeah. really, really are at the moment, aren't you? I don't like not being busy, even in any aspect of life. I've never not been busy. From a kid before the, like, the music hit off, I always had to be somewhere with people doing something. Like, it didn't really matter what it was. And the fact I've been able to, like, switch out that, those antics with something really positive is, is yeah, mm. sick, man. Mm. Like, but like booking wise, I, I've probably had more bookings in periods of my career, but they were less valuable mm. and for nothing. Mm. And to, yeah, you know, you can be busy doing nothing. Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. <laughs> and I, and I definitely, I'm busy. Yeah, like yeah. my bookings are busy, and the festival that's season is looking matters, wicked. Man. But I've definitely had. Like before, like weekends or free bookings and blah, blah, blah. But um, you're playing for nothing to no one to. Mm. And it's just, it's more valuable now. And it's all the mm. hard work's paying off. Going back to the um, subject of um, performing live um, emceeing. Does it ma- Ooh, controversial. I'm just <laughs> it just roll matter. into this shit. <laughs> uh, well, it comes from a place because I, I saw D double E uh, perform over the weekend. Oh, nice. Where was that? Was um, that? It was a place called Earth. Was it in, in Hackney? Yeah. Was that where uh, Bugsy Malone was playing? That's right. Oh, I nearly went to that, That's man. Right, yeah. I only got a chance to see um, D-Double because um, I had to go and I had a gig in the evening, which is just part of the... You never get a chance to see everything, do you? Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I was seeing him um, perform and his presence was just... Uh, he's a fucking superstar. Yeah, yeah. Superstar. To the yeah, point so where I was like, I, I didn't even... L- only paid like twenty percent attention to the lyrics. Yeah, because you're you're watching in, a show. Yeah, yeah, man. So how much of that does that connect with you in in a, in a sense of because you've got a, a you've got a presence you've got a real presence on oh, stage. I love, man. I've seen I've seen it, I've seen it even on video. I've seen it and everyone around in your camp says the same thing. Love that. So it's I think it's so important. Yeah, man. Like, listen, honestly, I do. Like you can get great lyricists and yeah. especially back in the day, like just the raw like like jungle sound like yeah. you, can, you can get that and not have to be bouncing this there and everywhere yeah. and telling fans to put their hands in the air and you don't really have to be doing that but for now of how competitive the scene is and how you can really create an artist of yourself i think it's so important to have yeah. some kind of presence like like charismatic like traits like whatever your thing is mm. i think it's well important man but i've got a lot i've got a lot of experience in performance like f- like throughout school and mm. and stuff like that and did music and drama in um in college so i, f- I feel like i've got enough experience and i've always been quite confident especially when mm. i started i think my age like, that i started with i, I was doing bookings from s- 16, 17. Mm. So I think the age, uh, yeah, 16 and then 17 proper like legal mm. events. Mm. But I think the age I started with was quite good. I think that naivety of being young helped me a lot. Mm. I didn't have enough time to process what I was doing, mm. that I was just doing it confidently. Mm. And yeah, yeah, I think that that's a really pinnacle thing for me. But um, yeah, man, I just, I definitely, yeah, it's, it's important. It's yeah, important. It's important. Better that than just standing there still. Yeah, on your and line. I think like you can get artists that do that. Like, like for me, like I've, I've sung for ages, but I started doing bookings for MCing, and I put the singing in a little bit later. Mm. Um, I, I did a few songs, but I knew that I wanted to wait for the right tunes that I was being offered to be able to put mm. the vocals on. Like people tried to get me stuff for, for ages. Mm. I was like, nah, it's not right yet. Don't like, do we're it. Not, we're not Don't working with it. the right people mm. yet. And finally, been able to do that. Um, but I, when I did start to write a few songs and perform them live, it's harder to keep the energy I keep emceeing mm. to then switch and sing a liquid song. And that 
oh, that was a barrier I'm having to overcome. I was going to say had to overcome. Mm. I'm having to overcome that. Mm. It's like, because I'm so used to the fast paced energy and slowing it down. And like, you have to slow your body down. Like, you mm. can't sing jumping. Like, mm. your, your vocals will go mm. mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you must, it must be, I mean, at this point. Diff- it's so different. Like, you I'm, literally have to become a stone statue. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because you're constantly <laughs> thinking things yeah, through and doing your changes. Diaphragm, yeah, yeah. It's just it's switched. And that's why I respect so many. So many singers, like people like Degs, like he switches mm. the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You've got a little sound, um, which yeah. she, she DJs, then she'll PA her own tunes. So she's that's jumping crazy. around on the decks and then she's having to stop yeah. while mixing. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's just hard, one example. Man. And then, oh, and then yeah. singing a whole vocal tune. And at this point, I've got a big up, I've got a big up, uh, Jenna G and MC Tali. Yeah, yeah. And all these yeah, yeah, amazing right. vocalists that, yeah. that, that do sing and rap at the same time. And pulling it off from a live performance is. Yes, I, that's a tough one. Big up DJ Rap as well. I'm going to big up DJ yeah, Rap. Rap man. Chemistry and Storm are the legends. Yeah. Um, I'm going to let you go. Oh, is that it? We've got yeah. to be done. I'll tell you why. Do you know what? Time's flowing. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. And, and, and furthermore, I think parking it up here will only force people to go and check it live. Yeah. You have to be checked. Yeah. SAS, yeah. SAS, yeah. I'll tell you, they bring in machines. <laughs> they bring in machines, don't they? A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, man, no, definitely. You're a, you're a war tool. I you're try. Like... <laughs> I try, you know, I do. I'm glad that it is seen and it's respected, man. That's all I can say, really. I'm humbled. I'm in a blessed situation to be working with sick people. I'm I'm just blessed, like, even from this weekend. Like, I won't go too much into it, but a release and then straight to um, watching the Lionesses win on penalties to Brazil and Wembley and win another trophy. Big it up. Big up the Lioness, he was a big ooh, football fan. Ooh. And then straight to um, a sick booking, Old Tat Tiny K and Friends, and then to cocktails with the mm. partner, to, to Brighton with some nearest and dearest, and now to here. I'm just blessed. I'm All blessed good to be stuff. in So good stuff, man. My girl. Massive respect. My guy, thank you. I'll tell everyone, man. Ooh, why is MC that? on the socials. Got to be done. Mm, you know what to do? Go find her. You know what I mean? It's the big, it's the big website in the site, sky called Google. Um, yeah, all about it. And then some, you'll be seeing a lot of this face, a lot more mm. this year. Big up, why is it? Killer Keller podcast out like it was out of fashion, all right? You stay lucky, don't talk to anyone. <laughs> I wouldn't. You very dare you. <laughs> stay lucky, people. Peace. How very dare you, mate. Come on. <laughs> My guy.